Well, you, you got balance. You're probably gonna keep your hair into like later age. I'm already going bald up top, so. You Ooh, know what? Okay, that's true. Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that any day. Yeah, no, I got give and take, man. I got them Italian genetics. I'm gonna be looking like a caveman until I'm 90. Lucky. I'm be up by the milk dud in like five years. Anyway, let's get into this match. We got RJ versus Slushy EV1. Yep, Slushy V1. Slushy V1. Ver right. oh, Slushy pass. version one, all right? So, I know, of course, we got Samus versus DK. RJ already putting a lot of work on the Samus. They made it all the way with a lot of 2-0s, but Scouts said it, man. These DKs that are coming in these on these weeklies, they're kind of tearing things up. I don't know if it's the Wi-Fi or the creativity and advancement of the DK metagame, but these DKs are wild. They already see a percentage advantage for Slushy as this man is throwing hands, already getting the conversion, but great upbeat right there by RJ, escaping right off of that platform. That is doom against Ooh. DKs. Bye-bye, Spinning okay. Kong. Be knocking that first stock out of RJ already, so I'll be doing pretty good. And the bit of the um, matches I saw earlier today where I saw Slushy play, I saw a lot of upbees almost yellowish, but the the hit rate on them has been out of this world, so Ooh. there's some calculation behind there. Did that dash attack clank with like almost a full charge shot? Yes. Yeah, it did. It definitely clanked. Need a full charge shot. Nonsense. Oh, I don't know, man. Mm. Not sure, but if RJ had a full charge, it definitely would have worked out, but... I was gonna he say, just, uh... He just turned uh, around and hit him with the headbanger. Yeah. It's like, listen, you just, just don't flinch. Yeah. You know, I think if Slushy was sitting pretty high, definitely could have knocked out RJ, especially at max range. But good thing RJ managed to get that in, but... Surprising, RJ getting pressured in by this DK. Spinning Kong, good shield, so... RJ kind of adapting pretty well now in, in this matchup early on. Bike into the back here, setting up an edge trap situation. Ooh, this nice. is where Samus makes their money. Look at that phenomenal that bomb conversion. And also, like, just not only that conversion, but I've seen a lot of that from um, RJ all night. Just kind of setting up the bomb and another spinning Kong. What did I say? Just chuck just them out. Every day. They're going to connect. Cover I all know. that horizontal space, and it, it hits. It hits hard. Wi-Fi helps out, too, knowing that you can't really react as well as you could be. Also means that RJ needs to create some space. I like him retreating. To the other side of the stage right now. Spaces, I think, is the answer, chilling. But right now, we are seeing yeah. that Slushy just not giving it to RJ, just throwing hands so close. That giant punch very nearly taking game one. Yeah, but you can already tell RJ's getting mad pressure. But 94 right back air. Almost about doing it, RJ. Get him he again. back in. He can't weave it back in, man. Unfortunate. RJ, gonna lose his first game. Essentially a force error right there by um, RJ. I mean, Slushy was out there pretty much with them the entire way, and if you had gone back in um, during the last bomb, Slushy was in a position where it would have been an easy interception. Nair, forward air spike, even like double jump down B. So at the end of the day, he was kind of forced to just up B a little bit early, or up B a little bit late rather, and get a bit of damage, a little bit of a parting shot, and start thinking about game number two. I and mean, we see Samus offstage using those bomb movement options to be really elusive, but Slushy, not a man to let you go ahead and get out of dodge for free. Went out deep and just did what needed to be done. All right, but uh, right now I think RJ for sure needs to figure out a way to stop being pressured at the corner. Many times so the way Slushy's been getting that percentage in, just pressing RJ the sides, you know, so. RJ needs to kind of figure out the way he can get out of it, mix up the way, or call out the way Slushy wants to approach. It's always that rock, paper, scissors game when you deal with Zoner! Oh. That's what I'm talking about! RJ finally turning things up! Yuck. Turning things up and turning things all the way out. I mean, just the thing is, like you are saying, you got to be able to hit that switch when you're a Zoner. Like, Zoners are good at zoning, but when you have a Zoner that's decent at throwing hands, you'll catch your opponent completely off guard. Offstage gameplay going Slushy's way. This time, the triple back air forcing RJ deep. Great tether right there. That's a re-grab. So you, oh, pop out of the down smash. That bomb a little bit ill-timed. Oh, that clanked. Okay. okay. Oh, and another one? Yo, this guy playing basketball out here in the inner court, man. Dunked it twice already. Good lord. Hanging on the rim, too. Exactly. Yo, someone would say Donald Trump is probably better at playing basketball, but you know, RJ's making a run for his money. Are oh, you going to do it again? Yo, he wants to do it again, brother! Woo mm -hmm. oh. Those spinning Kongs are so good. Every single time, like, they aren't connecting all the time, but they're always getting close. Do you have that? 
Oh, your oh. DI got mixed. What a oh, mix up it. right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <easy. laughs> All right, but RJ still had another stock up. Pain. Uh, R uh, Slushy. Sitting at 90% already. Good little giant punch. Pushing at 59. Building some more. Ooh. Call out. Well, Call out again. Good. Not going to finish it off, though. RJ able to go ahead and escape, get to ground. Missile getting called out with that dash attack, though. Can you get back for free? Yeah, Slushy not really reacting to that roll in time to get any kind of a punish. RJ needs to find something. His momentum is kind of losing it now with the second stock in. Slush can easily tie this up. Ooh. There we That's go. Fire that foot in the door. Don't get another. Okay. Ooh. DI mix? Mixed up. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Two for two of those. I dig it. Yeah. 139 now. Don't want to deal with the Don Kong with Mad Rage. RJ definitely wants to finish stock ASAP. Mm. And that's that the problem. Shot. DK is a heavy character. He's not going to die to charge shot for a little bit unless you get the fully that charged that one on again. the leg. Second yeah. I talk about it. The second I talk about it. <laughs> charge shot is your best friend. So, good stuff from uh, RJ to answer back in this game too. Honestly, good job adapting, especially that, that first stock. Man, my God. He something just flipped a up to switch in his head to be like you know what i'm just gonna go for this dunk and it works out definitely give him that momentum easily mm -hmm. it was getting kind of scary though because like you said um at the end of the second stock chill walk like the momentum was starting to get stolen away from rj so mm -hmm. if you didn't get that stock asap and you know get a pretty decisive finisher i would have been really worried going into this game three well honestly the game three might not have even happened so we're in the yeah, position yeah for um, a bit of a reverse sweep. So let's see what these two players can do in game number three. I think it's really heartening too for RJ to show that you can exploit DK's recovery. This is something that on Wi-Fi, especially a lot of players get away with for free. But I mean, we all know that back in the back in the before times, every DK main and their mother was complaining <laughs> about buffing aerial spinning Kong, about it being too vulnerable from the top, the hitbox not big enough, not dealing enough damage. Well, now we're kind of seeing why RJ got a big enough disjoint from above to challenge with that down air and making Slushy look a little free off stage. Got to clean that up on Slushy's side. A couple more mix-ups, and perhaps RJ will struggle a little bit more here in this deciding game that's what mm -hmm. i was talking about the scabs though is, uh, is that rock paper scissors though you know because mm -hmm. for our selection to be on situation he has to overextend himself to kind of get it up close and personal against rj about the ledge and that's for rj you know gets an easy grab just block whatever block a dash attack you know call out a jump gets that grab just throw him away and then if he dies in go for a solid dunk but now we see a change on the stage where we see slushy going for a tiny battlefield I like to call it. See if it works out, though. Ooh. Solid conversion. Good string off the top. And now it's Slushy's turn to answer back. RJ's zoning game right now is looking super solid. Gets Ooh. the spinning Kong, but jumping right over it. Responds with the back Yo. air. Slushy's RJ and dark. RJ! My man! Did you have a flash drive of the way Slushy wants to play? Because that was zero to death already. I don't know, man. Usually we don't see that happen, but RJ, he kind of, I feel like he got the download already coming in. Bill, this character is pretty feast or famine. I mean, we're starting to see the up air juggles, and that up air, up air might be stale as heck, but like that damage is not. But Slushy, or excuse me, RJ answering right back pretty quick. RJ did a real good job, man. I enjoy the way he had adapted to this game to you already. Goes back in. Look at that patience. Unfortunately, he gets hit by the last spinning Kong. I like the idea, though. Slushy's pressing a little bit. He's going to go ahead and connect these back airs, but that is well still. You're not going to oh. kill here. Gets the roll in with up smash, though. And that is exactly what Slushy needed. This is a character that thrives off of rage, so I would not be surprised if we get an early kill. Slushy's going to be right back in this. Yeah. Car already catching RJ with too many rolls, so I like the like him adapting to that situation. 125, though. Oh! Can't roll through that, no. 156. Patient from RJ right there, chasing him all the way down. But Slushy starting to fight back, and there's a full raised Donkey Kong. I don't, yeah. I don't want to be anywhere don't near this the baby. character. Don't get the monkey angry, man. Ding Dong's gonna threaten to kill around 60. This is very dangerous right now. You have to finish your plate. You cannot play with your food in this one, RJ. Scared. Oh, oh, you get grab. Oh. oh my God, how are you alive? I'm all so these heavy scared. hits, man. How are you gonna get back down to the ground? Is the million oh, dollar God. question. Yo, RJ, RJ's getting mad pressure right now. He's been eating everything on the shield and for himself. My God, Slushy's being mad patient with this. I'm like, I'm loving it right now. Oh, 
Almost the last bit of that dash attack. I know. What's it called? That's oh it. no, he goes. Oh, too many whiffs. Both Everyone's players right are now. feeling it right now. Oh, they're getting mad and nervous. Matchup situation. Good shield again, man. All right. Camp is gonna start. Oh, let's roll through. 228, man. RJ needs this ASAP. Oh, and he get just punished. Boom. Get punished, man. Yo, that was the first time I see a slushy actually jump from the ledge after a normal gap. Love that little call out with that little mix up. Finally, RJ's gonna tie back up, but we got a game three, guys. Man, that was the rudest giant punch I've ever seen in my life. And RJ <laughs> trying to answer back with a vengeance. Already getting another juggle going, but apparently percent doesn't even matter. It's all about stocks in this no, matchup because no. DK's living to like 200 something percent. Well, as RJ, we see him die at like what, like 90, 100? And mm -hmm. Samus is a heavier character too. People sleep on that because of the um, fall speed, but Samus can live for a very long time. Yeah, Donkey Kong, he got, he got, he hits hard, man. No. He already hitting hard. What? Is it? My God, how slushy. long you can it live? It don't matter. This got the left hook to it end your stock at any time. It's not even left hook. Scabs, that was the right. That was the right haymaker right there. My God. So he hard that I felt him. it. That Scabs <laughs> couldn't tell what hand he got hit with. I got yeah. hit. I mean, somebody got to check me for a concussion right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yo, credits to Slushy because he brought it back. I think RJ got definitely felt a lot of pressure in that second stock, man. I think he just felt that momentum go downhill. Right after that, even though he started.